Bro. Oh, that hurt, but did you see it didn't even move? What up, much lots people of the internet? Welcome to the best show of the whole YouTube. <laughs> but, over. So I got a comment um, on my recent video, on my recent video reaction. I should react to Waka versus the Chinese boxer or something. And I searched for it and I found that I think the one who made the comment was talking about the Buaka versus Yashuhiro Kido fight. And Yashuhiro Kido is actually a kickboxer, as I found out. And he's not Chinese, he's Japanese. So, kickboxer from Japan, that must be awesome. And then we have on the other side Buaka, like one of the best Thai boxers that we have ever seen um, with some other people around. But we're gonna react to the fight, it was from RWS. And I would say without further ado, we're gonna watch the fight, we're gonna see what he can get out, maybe we see something from a, from a fighting perspective, and I hope it's gonna be a blast. Let's fucking go! He has your man Stadio. Perfect. And now, Bro, the wrestling medal! Nice! So what was he? Ah, oh, he has also much a record. Well, not bad. No bad, bro. I want to see Danny Rodriguez fight. Because uh, recently had contact with him because of some business things. And he's a Swiss guy like me. And I want to see that boy rise, man. He fights also for RWS. The adrenaline hype must be crazy, I can't imagine it. Uh, his opponent fighting on the right corner, 41 years of age. He stands on an Arizona tennis hall and fighting. But, but, I don't know, but uh, if I would be in, the, in Yashiro's ways now and I see the other one is this beast, bro, I would say. And the fuck out of the Look at his record! 240! Wins! What the fucking hell? It's almost five times more! Or four times more! You know, for the first time this year. And he was undefeated last nine fights. Bruh! Let's fucking go, bro. Of people packed into Rajdamun Stadium. Many for this very fight. You put Buakal's name on the fight card and you get a full house. It's that simple. Yeah, man, the guy sells tickets like crazy, bro. Buakal Banchamet. That's also a part of like being a fighter that you sell yourself and make a show. And I know some people that do this pretty good. So rising kickboxer uh, Salif Dallo uh, from Switzerland. Um, he's going to be fighting uh, in uh, Forbaco at in Portugal this uh, year, the World Tournaments, and he puts on this like amazing show where he is like. Uh, Ruffy from One Piece. Uh, check him out on social media, Salif Dallo. Uh, he has also been training with me um, for his strength and conditioning. So for the people that know me a little bit better, I work at uh, National Performance Center for uh, Kickboxing in Switzerland as an athletic coach. And sometimes we have the pro fighters or the people that want to go pro uh, coming to us to have like the best strength and conditioning in Switzerland. And I worked with that guy, and now that he has his fights over, he's now in mid-season, he can start training the plan. And I think I need to send him the plan. Yeah, gonna do this later. Sorry about the bus. He said he is at the peak of his career. If there's any time that he can beat Borkow, it is this time. 
Yeah, well, Boca was uh, making his entrance through the ring. Yasiro Kido was actually getting in some practice. Smart. Yeah. Because, because I'm going to eat my breakfast. Rules, there is no white crew, so sometimes the fighter can be a little bit tense as they get onto the ring. So it is always good to get those few minutes to relax a little bit before the fight actually starts. And here we go. That's fun, go, bro. As you can expect, Kido will be light on his feet, moving around, and Buaka will be pushing. Yeah, forward. really low, snap. a really low guard, huh? Earlier tonight, we saw three From Kido. Take to the Ooh. Ooh, spinning oh, back fist. Again. Nice, bro. There will be no open scoring as this is kickboxing as well. Oh, ho, ho. Bro. a low kick, and Buaka says, Oh, Ooh, that oh, hurt, no but. Open. Did you see it didn't even move? As he just as fell down, kid. Well. Bro. Oh, ho, ho. A low kick yeah, you see on his face, bro, that oh, must have hurt. Did he hit the liver? Probably. Enjoy this. Right to the bunch of mix. <laughs> well, Probably. But that was crazy. It's like a bounce up. Boom. That was not intentional. Workout says. All right. Man, that dude's a beast. When they came together, you pointed out that Kiddo is much taller than Borkow. Yeah, he is taller, that's right. And he also... He's a little bit more on the offensive side. Or he puts more, more strikes up. But you see clearly who is the leader in this fight. Because you saw Kido like bouncing around and Boko has the center. Controls the center. Just with pressure, not even with striking, but like a sheer presence. Kido got Borkow through a right hook. Oh! oh! And a knee to the head. A little bit messy from both fighters, if you ask me. Not as clean as you would expect. The ref not separating the clinch somehow. Oh! 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 the fuck did he wait, Dad? He's on again! And again! The tented, or should I say, fainted to go low, but went up high instead. Spinning back fist by Kido. Yeah. We're straight in Borkow. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and Kido mentioned it before. He said Borkow is not as powerful and is not as fast as he used to be. And this is why speed, footwork might be the key point for Kido to get the victory tonight. But power, we know Borkow. Good luck in the section by Borkow. Kido says, bring it. 45 seconds left on the clock. Beautiful tip there yeah, by Borkow. Perfectly timed. Front kick from Borkow. Oh, another right, another They're right. actually almost the same age. Bokao is 41 and Kido is 40 years old. But you have the height. Yeah, Kido is almost like eight to ten centimeters bigger. Eight centimeters bigger. That's a lot. Oh, one, two. Oh, shit. 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 There he goes. Can he get the finish? He but, wants to stay on fire, but he clearly but, he's not. One, two, three, four. Work out though. He needs to look at his energy. He don't want to be wasting any of it. Smile on his face from Kido. I'm not sure how. He's almost down there from that three from Work out. But wow. he makes it to the end of wow. the round. Nice. That was, that was a blasting finish, bro. He turned the one in the man. What to say? Or. I want to ask you something, uh, because when we are told, or we are told in kickboxing, that you never let your guard down, you always protect yourself, and I'm sure you tell that, like, beginners, like I would consider myself completely beginner, but you see the guys here now, for sure they are not in range, but they always leave their guard down, or leave it um, wide open, and I wonder, because of its the setting that they're fighting in or if there's something else i mean that's more exhausting than having your hands down that's for sure you need to have like a good understanding of energy management in such a fighting environment that's true but i sure wonder why we don't see it like we are told uh, maybe somebody of you knows 
a better on soon. Oh, bro, nice. Nice job. Nice counter. Kido continuing to move around the ring. Yeah, and Kido said Buakao has lost his power, but clearly he hasn't yet. Oh, yeah, I mean, he there. puts so much pressure. Oh, oh, bro, what happened there? Oh, Was that a low blow? Oh, another good knee there from Buakao. He's lost his power, but clearly he hasn't yet. Oh, uh, maybe the knee, but we didn't see it. Bro, Lil Bro sucks. That no, sucks so that much. <clears throat> you know, they're working in the clinch way too much. I accidentally also low blowed the guy <laughs> like two weeks ago. <laughs> Not even in sparring, it was in, in uh, normal training. <laughs> I uploaded it as a reel on YouTube. <laughs> and Instagram and TikTok, and <laughs> you see the coach behind. It looks like he's okay, bouncing on the balls of his feet. Good low kicks there by Kido. Borkow not blocking them. Oh, there was Superman tent. Nice knee. Borkow swinging with that right hand. They're flying around, baby. Left jab there from Kiddo. But as expected, Borkow pushing forward. And we know he's going to be Yeah, he's just pushing, stronger, pushing, pushing, pushing. pushing. Look at this. Kiddo's always in the corner. Good boxing action in there from Borkow. And again, looking for that knee to the body after a flurry of punches. Yeah, Kiddo looking very passive now. Not really throwing anything. Do you like that left jab, though, that he keeps throwing? Good low kick. Oh, but Borkow here again. Yeah, and this uh, is for attempt. This is the the workhouse power pushing forward, making you tired within the clinch, and just forcing you to actually fight. Low kick there by Akido. Good left jab, right hand, another left hook to the body. Here comes Borkow. Uh oh, there, there comes the knee. Yes, knee. there he is. Uh, drop him down. Obviously, should not be allowed. Akido uh, not really fighting back as well. Yeah, you see, he's getting oh, tired. Oh, oh shit! Left kick again by Kiddo. Fakes the goal low, goes up high, and connects to Borkow. Second time he's thrown that, and second time it has landed in this fight. Has thrown that? That's <laughs> an English man, right? Oh, there's that left knee once again to the midsection. Yeah, another Kiddo. one. Get him. Borkow bites down on his gum shield, moves across the ring. Ah, nice, nice, come on. Ah, oh, shit, got him. Oh, no, recruited. It's a blast, boy. Yeah, nice, come on. Get him. Don't get prone. Yeah, you see, you see, he, he tries to hook and also put pressure on his hamstring. Nice, bro, nice, bro. So this video is probably going to get demonetized anyway, so quick thing in my own thing. And we have channel memberships now open. And it's not that you just give me money and get nothing in return. You also get some good knowledge. Have a look at it, become a member. We already have some and I would... Truly, truly appreciate and thank you because my studies with in sports science they cost a lot and I don't make a lot of money. If you want to support myself, support my work here, giving you the best fitness knowledge that is possibly out there, then have a look at it. Nice, come on. You see this, you see this. He tries to hit his hamstring to weaken the leg. That's with this movement, bam, bam, bam. That's actually interesting. Never seen this in my gym. It's maybe something. You're clinching. Good, we don't clinch that much, but... Oh, shit, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Yeah, you see, it's... A lot of times it was, like, replayed. Where did it happen? Not here? Here, maybe this one. No? 
Ah, oh, no, it was a headbutt. Headbutt, bro. Yeah, clash of heads, yeah. Fuck. And Boko is like, you know, nothing happened. <laughs> Bro, that man is like, oh shit. That man is like Khabib, never bleeds in fighting. I mean, look the other one. <laughs> uh, oh, blasting some metal. They know what it's doing. Oh, sure, man. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. That right here. It's not aggressive now. It's like bam, 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 and then separate. We're not in the fighting mode anymore. Now we're brothers. We can drink a beer, have a good time. That's why I love martial arts, bro. That's why I love it. Is it, is it ending? Is it ending now? We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we we'll sit here. Yeah, I think it's ending. Both missed and ball. <laughs> Oh, that was a really oh, nice thing that good. drove really nice in a straight line or straight came from the outside to the inside. Like nice. Really? Oh, bro, bleeding. The fuck, man? Yeah, that's sad, man. That's really sad to end a fight like this. <laughs> that's a birthday spot. <laughs> Gentlemen. Uh, okay. At least a draw. At least a draw. Set for Buaco and no. Set for the other one. Because that's. I mean, that's not. That's not. You do, You feel you could have done better. You could have won both of them. And then you ended like. Or it's ended like this. Oh man, that sucks. That really, really sucks, bro. Good performance, good performance on both of them. Really. Wow, that was a blast. Really, thank you for the suggestion, man. If you have something that you want to react to me um, the next time, then please leave me a comment. And as I said, consider a membership program. You will get some knowledge because I have free PDFs in all of the tiers, in the lower tiers, that you also have something for yourself that you're not just like wasting your money. I know you will benefit from the things you we have a trainings program we have a pdf that explains core training actual core training not that bullshit like 25 minute app circuits app burner shit little things you find on youtube that actually doesn't make you stronger it's just making you sore but we want to train smart and hard so this is something and then we also have a cook with over 50 high protein recipes for your daily life and making you stronger and we see us in the next Shh.